Hello, I'm Abby J, and welcome to the Ingalls Table. Today, I'm going to make my holiday crostinis using all of the best ingredients that I found at my local Ingalls Market. So let's get started. As you know, I love to entertain during the holidays, and I've got a trio of crostinis. The first one is my pomegranate, cranberry, and brie crostini. And these are so easy to make. So what you want to do here is get your bread at your local Ingalls Market. This makes about eight or nine crostinis. Cut them diagonally and then let them cook at 400 degrees and toast on both sides. It takes about three minutes on each side and then we've got them already prepared. And the first one I'm going to do is one of my favorites. It's the pomegranate uh, cranberry and, and mixture, sugar mixture, with some orange zest. I've already made this mixture and I've kept it in the refrigerator for about three days. So these flavors can infuse. So what we're gonna do is take the brie. You can get the brie in your local cheese deli as well. This is just a little log of brie. And we're gonna put it on the first one. And then we'll top it with this cranberry pomegranate mixture with sugar. And then all we do is top it with basil and a little orange zest. This will really give it some flavor as well. And that's your first one. The second one, pears is a big, big thing in the holidays for me. I love fresh fruit. So this is your little sweet crostini. And what we've done here, I've got um, this honey buttered cream cheese. In the dairy case, you can go there and get your flavored cream cheeses. You don't even have to make them. They've got strawberry, this is honey buttered, and I'm gonna use another one for my third crostini. So you wanna put the honey buttered cream cheese down like so. And I've got uh, red and green pears. That really adds a lot of color, and that's what you want. And then I drizzle it with a little bit of honey, just like that. Then I top it with some lemon zest. Just take some lemon zest. And there you have your second crostini. My last one is a real savory, spicy one. As you know, I love spice. Uh, it, it wouldn't go without putting a little bit of jalapeno or spicy cream cheese. So I found this spicy jalapeno cream cheese. And what you wanna do first is put this on the crostini like so. And then for a little bit of crunch, I use these radishes, this, this just uh, slice uh, thin radishes and put that on top of the crostini. And then I found some smoked salmon. You can get the smoked salmon in, in the frozen section of the seafood uh, case at Ingalls. And then what you wanna do is pop it with some jalapenos, red and red and green, and that looks like Christmas. And these are so festive looking. And then the last thing I'm going to do is to top that with some deal. And what a beautiful party tray for your guests. Thank you for joining me here at the Ingalls Table. Don't forget to check out our website for more tricks, tips, and recipes. See you next time and happy holidays.